This is the third video in this series on the five highest winning probability chart patterns. In this video, I'll show you the cycle high retracement reversal pattern. And just a reminder, you can usually recognize these same chart patterns with whatever indicators you're currently using. Now my goal with this video series is to show you how to recognize these top five high winning probability chart patterns with whatever indicators you like to use. So this is a cycle high reversal retracement pattern. So what you're looking at here again is a weekly chart and a daily. So I'm looking for these types of um, you know swing trade, short duration trades, which could be a day to three to, to three to five days or two weeks primarily. But I like to then monitor a weekly time frame in the daily. So if you look here at the weekly, this is 150 simple moving average. Okay, so you can see that crude oil had had a nice trend to the downside. Cycles down, cycles up. Nothing goes straight up or straight down. So just cycling up and down within this downtrend. Now you can see that the 150 simple moving average here, price came into this area right here uh, around July the 24th and then started to fade a little bit. Now if you shift over to the daily though, you can also see that there's also on the daily time frame another 150 simple and 200 days. So the 200, these are both clustered together. These are very, very uh, significant moving averages. So you want to always look for your moving averages, uh, and this is what we're, we're going to, you know, play these retracement trades off of. So look for these various moving averages. Um, you know, the 150 simple, uh, the 200 and the 150, and then your, you know, other uh, 21 EMA, etc. Uh, so you can see it got up here to the 150, and then on the daily. It started chopping around up here and just could not break through. So you want to give it when it gets to a major, uh, you know, moving average. You want to give it time to see if it can get any momentum. So here it kept getting these reversal signals, and finally it just finally could not, you know, sustain the momentum. Now the other significant thing is if you look down here below, these are our momentum again. Uh, price you have to have momentum to shift price. So it got, it had a nice retracement here. You can see it retraced back up. And then you can see momentum just started to fail and start, started diverging. So you had price churning sideways, but momentum diverging down. And then finally price gave up and pushed on down. So again, this is a retracement cycle high reversal. Now here's another example. Again, using the weekly time frame. Here's a retracement cycle high reversal for the dollar yen pairs trade. So uh, foreign exchange, it doesn't really matter. Same chart pattern. So you can see price came up here. This again is 150 simple moving average, this yellow line. Uh, so price on the weekly came up, penetrated through, and then started to falter on momentum. So you, you shift over to the daily time frame here, and you can see we got a reversal signal right here. And then you can see momentum down here, cycle one and cycle two. See that momentum diverging? So it's coming off and finally goes below zero. So you had price moving up, momentum shifting down. That's price momentum divergence. And then finally you had additional momentum kicking in and it reversed back to the downside. So that's a yen, a dollar yen uh, retracement reversal on a weekly into the 150 simple moving average. And here's another one about three months later, still on the dollar yen. So you can see again, it uh, dollar yen came down, uh, moved down to the bottom of the channel of this cycle. And then on the weekly, reversed back up, came back up to the top end. And the, again, the 150. And you look over the daily, then it started reversing. Here's a cycle reversal on the daily. You can see the momentum divergence below. So price was pushing up, momentum down finally reverse. So a cycle reversal and then momentum starts shifting hard to the downside and a retracement and rollover a dollar yen. Now here's a cycle high retracement reversal on gold, the gold future. So here again is a weekly time frame and the daily. I like to look at both and look for significant major areas of support or resistance with the moving averages for these types of trades. So here on the weekly this is a, the uh, 50 simple moving average. Okay, so here was the 200 period. Now it pops up to the, the 50. This is a major moving average. And then look over to the daily. You can see that pops to the 200. This is a very, very major moving average on the daily time frame. So generally first time up, it's never going to go through a 200 day moving average. So you can see then we had, you can see momentum again down below shifting down. So you've got that momentum divergence. And then you can see this cycle reversal signal right here 
uh, where we have our uh, reversal indicator down below crossing down. So hit up, hit up into the 200 day, got a reversal signal, and then it just falters on momentum. So momentum starts really uh, trailing down. So that's a, an example of a, a retracement cycle high reversal on gold. The next video in this series, video four, will be on the cycle low reversal. Hope this helps. Talk to you on the next video.